Welcome back to Defense Like a Jedi. Hey, I'm out for another walk today. I'm between appointments, and uh, the reason I walk is I'm in some semi-casual dress clothes for work, and uh, I sit in a car quite a bit while I'm traveling around to different companies, so um, maybe that's why I have so much time on my hands to play this game. Anyhow, um, out for another walk. I promised you some videos. I told you yesterday I had two secrets that I wasn't willing to share with everybody that I was going to do videos on. And this may sound disingenuous, but I don't remember what the second one was. I think it's going to be what I'm going to cover in this episode, but I feel like there was something bigger that I'm forgetting. And uh, it'll come to me in a day or two if this wasn't it. Um, the, the how to advance your rank was something I didn't want too many people to know until I got my rank up. Um, but now I'm under the, the, the attitude of, I don't really give a crap. And if I can help you guys, uh, I'll, I'll give you whatever I got. No, I won't be hiding anything now. So, um, we'll go from there. So what I wanted to show you now is what I'm doing with my siege. And what brought this up is I was reading my comments. Hopefully you're reading the comments. Some of them tell me I'm stupid so you guys can laugh at that. A few of them are, are helpful. Some of them, I don't really know what you're talking about. You just be like, yes, that's confusing when you said that or whatever the comment is. And I, I don't know, even know, you know, what timestamp and what video. So a little bit of context would, would, would help. But, uh, uh, there was a comment I threw on Janet as an assistant and somebody noticed that in one of my reports, uh, Jan Carroll, also known as um and he was saying well that doesn't help your attack at all so why are you throwing him on there he's just got you know 30 percent hp and defense debuff for siege so i was playing around with that and i thought the results were slightly better but nothing of significance uh definitely didn't hurt me to have him on there versus uh uh I think Gunther is my normal assistant. Um, so the reason I'm doing that, let's take a look at my siege general. So maybe you've noticed in my reports, I'm sending some T13s and 12s and 14s too. Small amounts, like 45,000 to 100,000 tops. Um, I don't really want to lose that much power on those. And the reason behind that is your T11 siege will engage with their big siege, as you've seen in some of my reports, um, especially if they don't have any range, uh, I mean, uh, any reinforcements. So uh, I'm trying not to walk into the area that's not protected by the wind, so hopefully you're able to hear me talking okay. But um, going back to my siege general... What I'm doing with my Siege General, I don't think I've shared this with you, but I don't think I hid it from you either. But uh, my my attack is not that great. So let's take a look at some of my Siege reports. Um, this is kind of stuff you can do. I'm going to delete those attacks lost. That was just to pop my thieves. Um, I'll send one troop with no general just to get my three attacks done for the day. Um so if you look at my siege attacks, you know, this is a break even, okay? I'm attacking a 1.7 billion power. Let's see if I got a better one here. Yeah, let's not look at that one. That one had reinforcements. Sometimes I'm just testing stuff out. That's not going to be a good one because it's going to be really tiny siege. So we'll stick with this one. We looked at this yesterday. He did have a, a K-43 reinforcing him, but I still I still won on, on power. So um, if you look at my stats, you're going to notice that I only have 1,500 siege attack. That's not very good for a fully ascended general. And, and, and it's funny because there's one person on our server who who doesn't like me uh <laughs> and he laughs at my my attack stats even though i'm winning on on these attacks um unfortunately i never wanted to tip him off on 
how ignorant he is to the game, even though this is like his fourth server and he's already got 150 grand into his account on this server. Uh, it's not about the attack percentages. I am sending small siege. So if I buffed up my attack percentages and got it up to 2,000, half of that's going to be debuffed and I'll be really hitting with 1,000 attack. So if you want to look at my siege general taking a long time to get here aren't i sorry about that so he's finally fully ascended um it's edward teach you could get him in a couple different uh, events so that allowed me to not spend on him and get him what i like about teach is his his stats help are they're uh uh non-specific so that means that my stats will count even when i'm reinforcing or doing whatever it's just when when i'm leading the army so um getting back to the point of this video um you can see i don't i mean these are kind of free these civ gear you know so i really don't have anything special on his gear but the refines are just like a wall general um they're all flat numbers so what we're going to see with that is I'm going to get about the same amount as attack percentage because I'm sending T11. It would help me immensely if I was sending a small siege like T4 siege, which I do sometimes, um, because you're still shooting over stuff to attack what you're targeting. I wouldn't start out with T4 siege uh, unless you're experimenting. But So my big layer is T11 siege, and the attack percentages help about the same amount as a flat at that level um, and that's just going off math in my head not math in real real life so if you want to go look at their stats and see where it comes out you can do that yourself but uh flats can't be debuffed so I, i'm not really i don't really care too much i'll take attack percentage because i'm getting you know half half of the percent um i know that'll hit home but um, I'd much rather have the flats. So um, most of my gear, especially the attack, is flat siege machine. And I don't spend that much gems. So my, my other, my defense can be percentages. Um, and I don't spend like crazy on them, as you can see. Uh, there's definitely room for improvement on the, the HP and the defense. Um, but I, I know everything I'm sending is going to die so all I'm really trying to do is get another attempt. Again, that's why I throw in 100,000 calves into a siege march. And they're usually T11s as well because I don't want to give up too much power because I know I'm going to lose. Um, but but that, that extra 100,000, now granted, if you're a K44, you might want to do more than 100,000. Um, but as a K38, for me, 100,000 seems to do the trick. And honestly, I haven't tried to bump that up anymore because I know they're all going to die and not kill anything but they're they're uh, they're a sacrificial layer that's there to make your march survive an extra turn or two and i get much better kills out of that um so that's why i use a little bit of uh, a cav layer uh what's the word for that sacrificial layer meat shield i think we call it um so i apologize i'm going to be walking through the windy area so i'll try to protect my phone and hopefully it's not too terrible yeah uh, so that's one trick that i haven't really wanted to share i think i've already shared that i do this with range um i do the same thing with a range general in fact i just have range gear i don't have it on her right now and uh i don't use that general so she's just in the senate i know you guys love her you guys ripped me a new one when I couldn't remember that she was range or cav or what. But uh, I don't use her. Sorry. I know she's great. She's awesome. I get it. So um, so I got other gear that have flat refines for range. And I'll actually send T1. I thought we talked about this in a video. I'm sure I did. So I'll try to find a report. Um been a while since i've spent the time it's something that i like to do in a kill event just to get some points uh if i'm not going to go around hunting a lot so this might be one here and it's a terrible example um lots of experimenting so um 
usually it's a break even or a million loss so it's more just a way to be annoying um so yeah that wasn't a t1 because i had too much power there uh these were a lot of experiments you know like, like i said it's not a way to win on a power exchange but what you're doing is you're killing off your t1 range which is cheap and easy to heal and you're actually damaging their big dogs so if you look at i mean this guy is what how many power 13 14 billion power and uh i'm very close on so i mean if you're if you're attacking like an average two to three billion power you'll break even i do have reports more recent reports this is my early experiments but uh so the defender has you know six million uh t14 calves and i'm able to take a pretty good chunk of that so uh, you can see you're targeting what you're trying to target. Your reins are targeting mounted. They won't typically touch their T1 layer if you're trying to do that. Um, so, yeah, you can see I only engage with that one troop level. Should we spend a little bit of time and see if I can find one in Battlefield or something? Or uh, Yeah, it would take me a while to find a good range one in battlefield where i where i actually make some uh power this is just going to be a siege or something what is this oh this actually might be one here so this person's 1.2 power i bet i did not send i think i just sent an actual real no it'd be low let's let's take a look here so i'm still sending big amounts of my upper layers you don't really want to do that because you're going to lose more power if i would have only sent the thousand of all these i probably would have won on on the power exchange but i didn't want to change a preset so it looks like i was just down on my troops and i sent a weird march so it wasn't a t1 rally uh hopefully my car didn't just take over my my voice there um getting pretty close to my meeting i think we got enough in this this uh, blabbering video for you guys to chew on what I'm talking about. And if I think of what else it might have been, it might have been this, but I thought it was something juicier than this that, that I, my hacker or uh, cheat that I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to end this here, and uh, as soon as the other one comes up to me, I'll, I'll throw it at you.